welcome back to the second channel. Back at it again. Now today is a day you've all been waiting for. I've had so many requests and today I'm heading back onto Facebook as a Karen and trying to infiltrate some neighborhood groups to find some Karens to troll some people and just have a fun time really. For those of you that are new to the channel, we are currently in a war against the Karens, the George Mason nation against the Karens. We've been taking them down a video at a time, infiltrating them, thinking that I'm one of them. You know what they say, if you can't beat them, join them. So literally my personal Facebook account right now is no longer George Mason, it's now George Mason. As you can see, this is me, but as a carrot. How beautiful is she? And today we're going to get even more of it. But before we do that, I want to show you guys my t-shirt I'm wearing right now. As you can see, that's right. This is my new clothing line. Catfish clothing. We already did one drop last year and this is the first one of this year. It's a graphic t-shirt. As you can see, it says Catfish Lake. And if you look up close, the L's actually scribbled out and it actually says fake because it's fake because I'm a catfish. There's also text on the back that says too good to be true because Catfish Lake is too good to be true. It's not real. I've literally made it up. We have more items though. We also have tote bags. Yes, that's right. Catfish Lake tote bags. But that's not all. The final item is an eco sticker pack. This sticker pack involves no plastic. This right here is made from vegetable starch, literally. It's made from vegetables. The header right here for me is the coolest thing. If you look closely, it has little dots on it. These little dots are actually poppy seeds. So what you can do is there's instructions on the back. You can plant this and poppies literally grow. And the best part of all, we have free worldwide shipping. Yes, any country that Royal Mail allows me to ship to, I'll ship it for free. So yeah, if you want to support the channel, go to catfishclothing.co.uk and get yourself a little piece of catfish lake. Yeah, onto the video. <laughs> Let's join some Facebook neighborhood groups. Now, literally, in the time of doing the past two videos, I've joined so many groups. I'm a part of pretty much every neighborhood in the UK. If we have a look at groups I've joined, literally, there's just groups from all over the place. New molded neighborhoods. What's happening in Naples, Florida? Actually, I need to see what's happening in Naples, Florida. Honestly, anything could happen in Florida, and I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Someone posted in here. We're coming from Wisconsin next week. We're looking at different options to get to Keywood, Dannon Island. Taxi, pontoon rental company. I'd like recommendations, please. Blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. So yeah, this woman's just asking for the recommendations how to get to this island. <laughs> Look at the comment I've just seen. If you choose to swim to Keywood Dannon Island, please wear your masks and socially distance from our beloved dolphins. And it's a picture of a woman swimming in Florida with a face mask on. Honestly, these Florida people just never fail to surprise me. Why is she swimming with a face mask on? Honestly, only in Florida. Only this would happen in Florida. Then this woman called Brenda replied. She replied, definition of insanity. And then laughed at her own comment. She literally sent a laughing thing to her own comment. She then replied again saying too many of us have become submissive and brainwashed by the government. To me, this is setting us up for more and more governmental intrusion in our lives. We even acknowledge how the government's guillotined thousands of small businesses. We have become too obedient. This is not my USA. Brenda, you're literally talking to yourself. You literally went from calling this woman insane for swimming with a mask on to laughing at it to then saying this is not your USA. I'm sorry to anyone that lives in Florida, but there's so many crazy people. All right, I'm just going to search neighborhood and let's see what comes up. I want to try and join some big groups because I want to get all of their attention, as many people as possible. So let's see what we got. Okay, so here we've got one called Current River Neighborhood. Is that a place? Where is this? Oh, it's in Missouri. We're going to try to join and see what's going on in Missouri. Let's join group. Oh, it's public. We can see what's going on. All right, first post I see. Whoever has left their dog outside to bark starting at 2 a.m. at the dead end of Staff Kona. It sounds like it wants in. Not cool to leave a dog outside to wake up the neighborhood. What do the comments say? Is anyone owned up to it? Jake replied, that's my my dog. He can come in and out whenever he wants. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get some beef here and I'm not even a part of it. I'm just a bystander. Maybe out of courtesy to your neighbours, you shouldn't let it bark continuously in the middle of the night. Then the guy replied saying, I'll keep him inside. He's given in to the Karen. He really went from, that's his dog, he can come in and out whenever he wants to, okay, I'll keep him inside. Jake, I'm disappointed. Why are you giving in to a Karen for? That's the one thing you don't do. You've got to stand your ground. Someone replied, strange, I didn't hear anything. Maybe we were just really tired. Definitely wasn't us. I could never do that. This sounds so guilty. They're like, no, no, it's definitely not me. I could never do that. No, no, it's not me. No one said it was you. Why are you defending yourself so much? This literally reminds me of this video. What? What? Nah, I never knew that. I never knew that. <laughs> that is literally this person. They're like, what? A dog barking? What? I never knew that. Not my dog. It's definitely not my dog. I never knew that. <laughs> literally, they sound so guilty. I can reply. I think I've been accepted into this group. I'm going to reply. I can vouch for Arlene. Come on, Arlene. <laughs> I'm her neighbor and she doesn't even have a dog. Honestly, I'm just trying to defend Arlene here. <laughs> there is literally no way it could be her. So, Lee 
leave her alone. Arlene is going to be so confused. She's like, wait, did I have a new neighbor? Since when is Georgia my neighbor? And I do have a dog. Why is she saying I don't have a dog? All right, let's see what else is going on. Let's try to join another group. There's one here called Isle of Sheppy Gossip. <gasps> gossip group. Oh, we need to get in this. Georgia loves the gossip. I've got to join this. Your membership is pending. You'll be notified if your request to join is approved. Get me in this Isle of Sheppy Gossip group. I need to gossip with the neighbor. Is there any more gossip groups? I need more gossip groups. <laughs> Neighborhood gossip. We've got Witham Gossip Group. Let's join. Oh, here's another one. Gossip on Sheppy. Why is there so many Sheppy gossip groups? There must be a lot of drama going on the Isle of Sheppy. I need to be involved. Come on, guys and girls. Tell us what happened in Sheppy about everyone. This is actually a full-on gossip group. I need to join. Oh my gosh, there's another one. The Sheppy Gossip Board. What is going on in Isle of Sheppy? Is Isle of Sheppy the UK's Florida? Why is there so much gossip that they need three groups? I'm going to join. I genuinely can't believe there are actually gossip groups in neighborhoods. This is just so funny. All right, I think I've joined all the gossip groups for now. I'll come back to you tomorrow when hopefully we've got into some gossip groups to find out the tea. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you guys in 24 hours. All right, so we're now back. It's been 24 hours. I am still in the same t-shirt. It's that nice. Catfishclothing.co.uk. This shirt works for all occasions. If you're going out for a nice dinner, if you're sitting at home, or if you're trolling Karen's on Facebook. It's a t-shirt for all occasions. But yeah, let's head back onto Facebook and let's see what's going on. All right, let's see. We've got five notifications. All right, first one. Your request to join Gossip on Sheppy has been approved. We're in the Isle of Sheppy Gossip group. Come on. What else do we get? Your request to join the Sheppy Gossip group has been we're in two Isle of Sheppy Gossip group. The other thing I want to check is where I left the comment about the person leaving their dog outside. What was that place called? It was something river, right? Oh, it was called Current River Neighborhoods. Current River Neighborhood. Okay, it's not coming up. They literally blocked me for leaving a comment saying that was my neighbor. I mean, to be fair, it wasn't my neighbor, but that wasn't worth blocking someone for. Here it is, Current River Neighborhood. If we click it, the com they've literally blocked me from the group. Why have they done that? Current River Neighborhood. Why do you hate Georgia? But let's have a look what's going on in the gossip group. All right, let's try the first one we joined. Gossip on Sheppy. Let's see what's going on. All right, first post I see. I'd like to apologize to the lady this morning, walking her two dogs down by the roundabout at Minster this morning. My mate had pulled around the corner to pick me up and she ran off like the clappers. The clappers. She obviously thought he'd stopped to pinch her dog. Sorry again, but boy, could she run for an old girl? Well, little does he know, Georgia was the old girl and she's not happy. Hi, Matt. This was me and my two beloved dogs. What should I call the dogs? Should I call them cat and fish? No, that's too obvious. I can't do that. I know what to call them. Mickle and Field. Big up Mickle Field. I don't appreciate you calling me an old girl. I'm only 55 years young. <laughs> that is such a Karen thing to say. She's not 55 years old. She's 55 years young, okay? Also, your friend's car was awful. My son has a Tesla. You've always got a Flex Jeremy's Tesla. And I told him your number plate. You better sleep with one eye open. And post. Let's see what they have to say to that. All right, what else is going on in the gossip group? Georgia needs more gossip. All right, someone posted, has anyone called Jesse left this bottle? And it's a bottle that says Jesse on it. No, not mine. My name is Georgia. What am I even doing here? I joined this group for gossip and the best gossip I'm getting is someone's lost water bottle. All right, there's literally nothing else going on in this group. However, I am still waiting for Matt to reply about trying to steal my dogs. Let's see what other groups you got accepted into. Okay, here we have the Sheppy Gossip Board. It has 10,000 members and hopefully it actually has some gossip. All right, someone posted, if anyone has lost a brown envelope with 500 pounds in it around Tesco car park today, just to let you know, I found your envelope. I don't know if this person wants to return it to the owner not, or they're just flexing that they've found their money and they're like, ha I've got your money. He didn't say, does anyone know who it is? Because I want to give it back. He literally just said, I found your money. He didn't say anything about wanting to give it back though. Surely everyone in the comments is just saying that's mine. Someone said, that was my wages for the weekend. You can PM me for collection details. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was everyone's wages. In fact, it was George's wages. Hi, this is my money. Please give it back or I will call the police. Oh, we got a notification. What's notification. Someone mentioned me in the Sheppy gossip board. What have they said? I was the person that found 500 pounds. I've only found the envelope. Oh, of course you have. Of course you have. Literally, this guy was like, yeah, I found 500 pounds in an envelope, but there's no 500 pounds in it. It's just an envelope. All right, this group seems semi-active. I think I'm going to make a post in here. Let's try and get some gossip going. All right, I'm making a post. Hello, all. I joined this group as I have been a victim of some targeted 
attacks. I'm a local vegan and I am proud. Now this is actually a lie. I actually am a vegan. I've been vegan for over a year now. However, this next part, this next part's going to be a bit of a stretch. I have banners in my window saying, if you're not vegan, you're stupid. And who run the world? Vegans. Now, yesterday I found a piece of ham on the floor outside my house. This is an attack on me, my beliefs, and my legacy. Georgia is serious about her veganism, okay? Whoever this little weasel was, have some respect. And if I ever see you do this again, I will be opening a case with the local police. Control your kids or I will for you. <laughs> Georgia is going off here. And let's get some angry emojis in there and post. Please say it doesn't have to be approved. Please say it doesn't have to be approved. Yes, it doesn't have to be approved. We are in. I'm going to comment on my own post. I have now set up CCTV to catch you in HD. The bait is on the line. The line is set. And now we wait. Let's see what people think about George's vegan antics. All right, we've got four notifications. Let's see what's going on. 12 others reacted to your post in the Sheppy Gossip group. Straight away, we've triggered some people. 19 comments. We are bringing the gossip to the Sheppy Gossip board. Someone replied to me saying, I've set up CCTV to catch you in HD by saying, are you actually being legit or having us on? And then they put a phishing emoji. 100% serious. I can show you a photo if you like. I hope she doesn't want a photo because I don't have a photo of some ham on the floor outside my house. But fingers crossed she takes my word for it. Someone commented, might have been corn ham. No, it wasn't. I tasted it and it was meat. Honestly, where is this going? I don't know at this point. I'm just trying to bring some gossip to the gossip board. Someone said, this sausage can't be serious. I prefer to be called a, what's similar to a sausage? A cucumber. <laughs> Don't call me a sausage, call me a cucumber. Honestly, surely no one can think I'm serious with this. I've literally just asked to be called a cucumber instead of a sausage. Someone sent a gif of a ham playing the tambourine and it says, Hamburine. Delete this now! Oh my gosh, we've got 10 notifications. What is going on? Oh, the person said, are you being legit or having us on? And I said, 100% serious. I can show you a photo if you like. They replied saying, nah, you're all right, thanks. I just couldn't believe that this was a real post. Like you're proper deluded. I think you need to go see a psychiatrist or something, hun. She really just called me deluded and I need to see a psychiatrist just because I'm vegan. I mean, to be fair, it's not just because I'm vegan. It's because I said I would call the police on a kid for leaving ham outside my door. Oh my gosh, we've got 114 comments in 16 minutes. You can say a lot of stuff about Georgia, that she's deluded, that she needs a psychiatrist. But you can't say she doesn't know how to trigger a Facebook group. That's one thing she knows how to do. The person that said it might have been corn ham and I said, no, it wasn't. I tasted it. Someone replied, you're vegan and you tasted it? Watch out. The vegan police will catch you and take away your vegan power. Oh no, not my vegan powers. Well, I had to taste it to know if it was an attack or a gift. <laughs> Just someone leaving you a bit of corn out. As a vegan, people leave that for me all the time. Let's see what everyone else is saying. Oh, we've got another gift. This one says King Hamis. And it's a piece of ham with a crown on, sunglasses, and a chain that says gangster. Why is this a gift? Why is this actually a gift? Someone else has put a gift saying, I love ham. They're literally just sending me loads of gifts of me. Here's a ham with a face on it. Here's a slideshow of steaks. We've got another hamburger. As if the first one wasn't enough. Honestly, shout out to the Isla Sheppy. They're taking this well. They're taking it as a joke. Have a bit of fun. Sending me gifts of ham. <laughs> Someone's replied to me saying, delete this now about the hamburine to a gif of a man with a carrot on his head. This is more like it. This is what Georgia wants to see. This is quite possibly my fave post and Defo Gets Gossip Boards post of the week. Guys, we made it. We are the Sheppies Gossip Boards post of the week. Georgia never fails. She doesn't take any else. Someone's commented, what kind of ham? Why does it matter what kind of ham it is? They're acting like it might be theirs. They're like, oh, actually, I did lose a bit of ham. What kind of ham was it? Just, it might be mine. Oh no, someone's on to us. It's for a YouTube video. No beef needed here. And it's my undercover Karen video. We've been cool. It's been an hour. We've had 312 comments, but we have finally been rumbled. It was fun whilst it lasted. But on that note, guys, we're going to end the video here. I hope you have enjoyed. As I've said in the video, guys, catfish t-shirts are on sale now. Catfishclothing.co.uk. Make sure you check the website out. I'll put a link in the description. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to support the channel, make sure you buy one. Get yourself a nice t-shirt. And by the way, these t-shirts are actually vegan. So if you're vegan, get yourself a vegan t-shirt. I'm genuinely not 
not even joking. Literally, look at the tags. The t-shirts are literally vegan approved. So yeah, if you want to be like George or be a vegan, get yourself a tote bag, get yourself a t-shirt, or just get yourself a sticker pack. But yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Let me know what you thought down below. Honestly, my plan was to make this the third and final part of joining neighborhood groups, but let me know what you guys want. Should Georgia live on, or should I change Georgia? Should I become a different character? Let me know down below. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This is George Mason and Georgia Mason and the Isle of Sheppey. Over and out. Boom.